we've all seen all those beautiful art quilts that are being made by so many talented people and we wonder how do they do that? I will be doing a series of videos explaining one method of creating beautiful art quilts. This video is number one in the series and I will show you the first step in creating a beautiful art quilt. It's called posturization. I will be showing you how to posturize in three different programs. First, open your picture files and find your favorite photo. After you have found the photo that you want to use, right click on it. A window will open up with various options. Find Open With and click on that. More options will open. Choose and click on Paint. Your photo will now be open in the Paint program. Click on the blue file tab in the upper left hand corner of your paint program. A drop down window will open with various options. Find Save As, hover on it, and another window to the right will open. Choose Other Formats and click on it. In this window you need to choose a file name and type it in. Click on the little arrow at the right hand side of your Save As Type box to highlight it. Scroll down and click on a 256 color bitmap option. Now you're going to want to save this file and I suggest that you save it in your pictures files. Now as soon as you click save you're going to have a warning box open up on your program screen. Don't be alarmed this is what you want to have happen. This box is telling you that the resolution of your picture is going to be changed. That's okay that's what you want. Now you have posturized your photo. It'll show up on your screen, posturized. Now you will see the definite separations in your colors. The first few steps in using Paint.net are going to be entirely the same as Paint, except that you'll choose to open with Paint.net instead of just Paint. After your photo opens in the Paint.net program, go to the very top of the page, find Adjustments, and click on it. A drop-down box will open with various options. Find, Posturize, and click on that. The little window that opens now is giving you the option to posturize your photo at different levels. The little arrows that I've circled can be clicked up or down to change the level of posturization. This is a a number two, very few colors. The higher your level goes, the more colors you're going to get in your photograph. All, you can go all the way back up to where it looks almost like a photograph again, well, it, where it will look like a photograph again. I'm showing you the posturization levels all the way from number two to number eight. Watch the flower as more colors are added as the level of posturization goes up. The higher the level of posturization, the more colors there is going to be, which means the more different colors of fabric you are going to need to have to recreate this flower in an art quilt. I've chosen level 6 posturization to work with in this series of videos. Here I have outlined a few of the color separations for you to see. I would suggest that you play with your Paint.net program a little bit. It's got a lot of various different effects that you can give your photos that you might find very useful in some of your art. Paint.net is a free program that you can download. Just be sure that you do it from the official Windows site. You can open your photo in Photoshop Elements using the same steps that we used in the previous two programs. Click on the word Filter at the top of your Photoshop program. Choose Adjustments in the drop-down box and then to your left choose Posturize. Click on Posturize and then you're going to see another little box open up. Just like in the Paint.net program, you're going to have the option to posturize your photo in different levels. By changing the number up or down in the Levels box, you can change the level of, of posturization. This is 2. You can go all the way up as I did in the Paint program. You can just watch the colors change.
and that's how you posterize a photo. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to separate those colors to use in our quilt. Thanks a lot for watching.